Once you've loaded Kodu, select Load World. To select any of the worlds, you can click on your right arrow key or left arrow key to cycle through the options. You can also click on the arrows within Kodu. I'm going to select New World by clicking on the world and clicking on Play. We've currently entered our world. We're in the play mode, as if the game was running. You can move around the world by clicking on your mouse button and dragging forward and back. That's your left mouse button. If you click on your right mouse button and move your cursor, it rotates the camera around the world. So let's go and create some terrain. To edit our game, press Escape to go into Edit Mode mode. There's a number of options available to you that you can highlight using your cursor keys. In this tutorial we're going to click on the ground brush tool. Your cursor turns into a flashing box. If you click on your left mouse button you can add terrain. Clicking on your right mouse button removes terrain. To change your brush size, you can use your left and right arrows. Right makes the brush size larger, left makes it smaller. To choose your terrain type, click on the terrain type selection, which will enable you to select different brushes. If you select a brush, when you paint, your brush will paint in that colour. You can change your brush at any time. And add that on top of your world. You have a number of options available when using the brush. First of all, if you hold down shift, you can ensure that you don't paint outside of your world boundaries. So by holding down shift, I can make sure I don't accidentally increase the size of my island. If I <coughs> add another colour, for example, holding down control, We'll add new material outside of the island, but will not affect anything you've already painted. So there are a few options available to you. 